Hey, it's Andrea, and today's Friday. Yay! I hope you can hear me over my air conditioning. It's really hot out, and I need to have the air conditioning on. I don't have it coming out the top. I have it coming out the bottom. I got a niche. Got a niche. So, I have to go to the store and pick up my medicine. I feel like I'm there all the time picking up medicine. Oh, the pharmacist just loves us. And I have to get gas, too. So. What are you up to? Anything interesting? Or it's the same old, same old? It's the same old, same old. And that when he, he 
he can't eat like he has a tube that goes into his stomach so he imagines certain meals he imagines himself cooking different meals and, and eating them sometimes he likes to have his wheelchair pushed near the cafeteria so he can smell different smells and he likes he, he'll, he'll look at things and he'll imagine different things or he'll imagine that he's in different places and then he talks about everyday things like like when he's given a um bath and stuff like that, and how sometimes he enjoys the bath and sometimes it's humiliating, and I don't know, it's just really interesting because you don't get to hear, like I used to be a nursing assistant in my 20s, so, and I was a skilled, I was a skilled nursing assistant, which means, it makes it sound like it's something fancy, it, it's somebody that does the skilled nursing section, and that's people that they can't do things themselves. I can't do it now, obviously, because, you know, my joints and stuff. But, like, I took care of people that, um, some of them were in comas, some of them, there was all different kinds of things, all different kinds of medical issues, but it would be people that couldn't feed themselves, couldn't get themselves out of bed, this kind of thing. And I always talked to them. Um, I don't know. I just, I just found, I'm finding the book interesting, okay? Because you don't get to hear from people like that, because obviously they can't communicate in the normal way. I'm slowing down so this person can come over, but they might just have their turn signal on for no reason. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what I was trying to say about that, except for that. It's an interesting book, you know? But one thing that I did, that I did find fascinating is that because like when I deal with people in medical situations I tell them exactly what's going on and this guy he said at first he didn't know what was going on because he had been in a coma and then he came out of the coma and people would talk around him like the doctors would talk to his loved ones and they talk in hushed tones and stuff like that he didn't know what was going on because no one would say to him this is what's happening this is what we can expect maybe this will happen he had to figure it all out like over the course of weeks from little pieces he heard the people say you know and uh i've always felt like if you tell people what's going on they can grab onto some part of what you're saying and own part of it you know what i mean like own their healing or own their it's their life you know what I mean? It's their life and it's their body and they should be able to know what's going on. To whatever extent they're able to understand that, you know? It's not for us to judge what they can understand and what they can't understand. Anyway. That's what I have to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. Although I could be induced to speak about it more. <laughs> almost at the store. I get my medicine at the grocery store. At the grocery store. I'm here to pick up my psychological medications. I have, um, yeah, I think I've discussed that before. Like, I'm on anti-anxiety medications, and I'm on, well, one of my medicine deals with my anxiety and my OCD, and then the other one is for depression, so I'm picking up those. might game tomorrow night, I'm not sure. But if we do game, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner, because I was thinking it would be easier if we, like, order pizza or whatever, but I don't know if Bob's going to want to have pizza, because we just had pizza the other night. I'm not as big in the pizza as I used to be. I think, as because the older you get, as those of you near my age will understand right away is that indigestion becomes a very large part of your eating experience <laughs> and it helps you decide what foods you want to eat and what foods you don't want to eat depending on how long you want it repeating on you
walk as far. Oops, I hit the pole. Don't judge me. <laughs> hey, well, I finished in the store and I just got gas. So I am so hungry I can't think straight. It's one of them days. I got out chicken drumsticks and thighs for for dinner tonight. And I guess I'm gonna stick them in the oven at some point. I don't know what we're gonna have with it. I can't think about that right now. I'm too hungry. I had my cereal this morning, but I'm still hungry. Well, it's almost 1.30, so. Anyway, that's about all I'm going to talk about today. So I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. This is me, <laughs> this is me making a turn. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye.